Hello, everyone. Welcome to this session. My name is Kong Yang. I'm a software engineer from Tokyo UIT, currently working on Lyft project. Today, I'm going to talk about UI framework for Lyft apps, and we are calling it Lyft UI. As you might heard from the previous session, this year, we built a UI framework for Lyft applications. It is called LUI. It's short for Lyft UI. So in the following presentation, I'm going to use the word layer UI to represent our framework. So in this session, first I will briefly introduce what is layer UI. Then I'm going to cover some topics about who are our users, what is the motivation behind it, and what kind of features do we provide. In the meanwhile, I will show you an example to give you a sense of what it looks like. At the end of this talk, I'm going to look a little bit into the future of layer UI. So first of all, let me introduce what is Air UI. Air UI is a UI framework for building Lyft apps. If you see iPhone screen here, it's a screenshot taken from the Line Point Club. And you can see there is a header with a close button, a title, a back button on the top of the screen. This is exactly a Air UI component we provided to our users. But it's not just like that. Through LUI, we provide a set of high-quality components that Taylor made for the Lyft apps. It's only for internal use right now. It's not published yet, but don't worry. I will give you an example and cover more details about this header component later on. So currently, we provide LUI to multiple Line family services like Line News, Line Point, Line Sticker Shop, and more and more line developers are adopting LUI to build their screens and features. And we hope this framework will continue to power a wide range of lib apps in the future. Now, you might wonder why we start making this LUI framework in the first place. There are three main reasons. The first is uh, inside line this year, we are migrating from the old framework to the Lyft framework. So we wanted to accelerate this process with some handy tools and frameworks. Secondly, as you know, Line has many, many different services. Sometimes we find developers from product teams doing the same repetitive tasks over and over again. So we want to reduce the implementation costs that other Line developers might spend. And finally, we want to promote a consistent UI experience across all Line family services so that we can enhance our user experience. And therefore, we built LUI in the beginning of this year. Here are some of the exciting features we provide. The first one is easy integration. We used web components as the underlying technology, and because of that, this framework can be quickly integrated into any existing frameworks, like Vue or Re React. And the second one is consistency. We crafted our components based on the line design system, which allows developers to easily provide consistent user experience across different line apps. And the third one is reusability. We structured our frameworks through atomic design principles. It supported a set of reusable, fine-grained components, trying to cover all kinds of scenarios. Our users can import components from either NPM package or CDN. Last but not least, these components are all customizable. We defined flexible interface that can adapt to specific functional requirements. Now I'm going to show you a real example of Air UI components. Today, I'm going to introduce two components. Here, you can see a Air UI navigation bar and Air UI navigation back button. So you might you may have noticed that there is a green header on the top of the screen. This is a Air UI component we called Air UI navigation bar. Usually, it will cover the safe area, and it contains one title and two buttons, a close button and a back button. Let's take a closer look at the back button. It's actually another area component. 
we call it LUI navigation back. The magic behind this component is that it will automatically manage the history stack of pages for developers and provide a go back functionality to route the current page to the previous pages. And this is a header that looks slightly different than the previous one. Actually, the LUI navigation bar component, the developers has a complete um, control over the headers, what the headers looks like and behaves like. So we provide three customizable slots, the title in the central, the action area in the right, and the bottom in the left. And furthermore, our component can be automatically adapted to different platforms, displaying different UIs according to the preference of the platform. So for example, components can be automatically changed to the Android layout without any extra work from the developers. So you can see that from this screen. It is fantastic, isn't it? And so now you see um, what our components looks like. Let's see how they should be used. Actually, it's pretty simple and straightforward. They are just customer elements so that the users can simply write it as HTML tags in the plain HTML file without an using any frameworks. And then specify styles and behaviors by attributes. And components can also be nested within each other. As you can see, users can provide child components in those customizable, customizable slots. So it is also super easy to integrate our components into any React or Vue apps. So here is an example that, that uh, we use LUI with React. And they can be combined with your exi existing components without comp compromising performance. And we also built our documents based on the storybooks allowing users to browse all the components and view different states of each component, and in interactively play around and test the components APIs. And we want to make sure that developers can get started with our components quickly. So OK, that's all the introduction for ARUI. But we won't stop there. We are working on providing more exciting features to our framework and they will be coming soon. And we are continuously to improve guides and developer tools. And lastly, a good news for mini developers. We are also planning to open this framework to mini developers in the near future. And we hope that it will be able to empower mini applications as well. So please stay tuned. And that's all the contents about Lyft UI frameworks that I have today. Thank you all for so much for listening.